STEM is a really special school in that we're smaller than the comprehensive high schools um, so that our class sizes are smaller, the students get a more personalized education. We get to know our students here. Um, our teachers, even though we have a small faculty, we're all very committed to student success. STEM Early College High School is very big on pushing students to pursue a further education and they provide all the resources and they don't just provide them to like an upper level you know group of students who has like the highest GPA they offer them to everybody they give us like resources they bring professionals in to talk about FAFSA to help us through that and they provide that assistance for us they make sure we go on field trips they make sure we become aware of all the opportunities we have after high school and so the school really helps with making sure that everybody feels like you know what, someone cares about me in this school, someone wants me to succeed in this school, and someone is going to help me reach that, reach my goals and become successful. To have the students actually on a college campus mixed in with the college students so they can get that college feel. We provide transportation for students in the morning to either go to Harland or McCullum and transportation is provided to come to STEM and then we provide transportation for students to be here at STEM and then go to Palo Alto College. So we have buses coming back and forth with our students but then again we feel like the power place is very important because we want our students to be on the college campus. When I heard about the school, I was like, wow, at that time my daughter was in the seventh grade. And I kept telling myself, well, will this help her or will this hurt her? And the more I kept reading into it and the more we kept hearing about it, it started hitting me like, hey, you know what? I didn't have this opportunity growing up. And I'll be darned if my daughter doesn't have this opportunity. So I'm going to do whatever it takes for her to get where she wants to get. Because one, as a mother of five, the fact that they give you free college, the fact that they take their time to educate you the right way and getting you where you need to be and giving you the experience of a lifetime. When we look at the cost of 60 college hours, um, you know, if you think about in terms of that's four semesters of college, an average semester is running about $7,500. So over a year, that's $15,000. So over a two-year program, we're talking about $30,000. Um, you know, even if they're planning on going to, say, um, Texas A&M San Antonio, they have the two plus two system so that all of the hours that they earn at Palo Alto are guaranteed to be acknowledged by Texas A&M San Antonio. Um, so it's an automatic savings in terms of those first two years. Everyone here is amazing and they really do want to make it so that scholarships are available to you as well. From STEM's SAEP scholarship or just around the area for Cafe College, um, we've made it so that everyone is aware of what, that we can go to college and that we can really afford it. We just need to put the effort in it. And I have the opportunity as of this moment to go and go to the University of Alabama on a full ride. And another senior from last year had gone to the University of Richmond on a full ride. Um, this is all because of the school. In talking with the students, um, a lot of them sort of express the fact that they really don't know much about you know, STEM program itself, you know, science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Um, they're like, you know, I don't, I, I don't want to be an engineer when I grow up, but what they'll get from this is a deeper understanding of, of problem solving, of collaborative learning, of you know, just the thought processes that goes into solving any type of problem. And it really doesn't matter what they want to study when they get out, um, they'll have these, this skill set that will transfer to whatever field they want to go into. They promised that she would graduate in four years with the high school and an associate's degree. She did. She walked the stage and ever since then her life has changed completely. It impacted her in ways that no one could imagine. She's going to two different colleges now. She ha originally put herself into St. Mary's and she's going to Trinity University to do Russian classes. Russian classes, like what? Like, you know, it amazes me that she's learning all these languages, but it's something that she wants for her future because she wants to do bigger and better things to help her community and the world and herself. And it all started with STEM.